T-minus 10 minutes and counting for the 18th annual 24-hour model build. I think Roosevelt was in office and that was last cleaned. I'm gonna build a monogram Porsche 904. I've gathered some reference photos for this build. What I found is there's so many variations on this car, the scoops, the lights. I'm gonna build a mix of what I like the best. The kit comes with chrome plated wheels. The actual car has steel wheels that are painted silver. So I'm stripping the chrome, and I'm gonna paint them silver. We're allowed to strip the chrome before the 24 hours begins. On the box art, the body is very smooth. It just flows down, everything's flush. On the actual car, the body steps out and there's a little shadow that's created. I wanna make sure that when I build the model, I create that little step in the body. The plating is not coming off of these. I think it must be overcoated and clear. I'm gonna take a test piece and try it in easy off. A half hour later and the chrome is gone. I'm going to do the wheels. One of the most important parts of prep is getting the paint sorted out. I'm using Tamiya spray paint. I tested not only the colors, but how fast they dry. The body of the car will be silver. They have two very nice silvers. I've tested them both. They dry quickly, even without a dehydrator. I have my dehydrator ready to go to speed things up. The other color is Tamiya black, and that is used more often in the engine, to me, it has stuff that dries so quick, it's unbelievable. As part of prep, I took all the parts, I washed them and dried them. I even put them in the dehydrator to make sure they were dry. Not only did I wash the parts, I also washed all my spray apparatus, the stuff I mount all the parts on. Because, you know, after a while that builds up dust and crud. And of course that might blow up as I'm spraying, pollute the wet paint. I've got all the tools ready that I think I'm gonna need for the first segment of the build. Got everything laid out. I made sure that I wasn't missing any parts from the kit because that would be a real drag to get part way through and go, I have to fabricate something or substitute. And at the end, I have these tools and I'm gonna add a detail. It's gonna be a time multiplier, but I'm saving it till the end. We'll see if we can get it to go. I'm putting together a strategy, going over the instructions a hundred times. I'm gonna start with getting the body and the chassis pan painted. Well, that's drying, I'm gonna work on the engine. Hopefully by the time the engine's together, I can start assembling the body and then keep moving on. Done some prep, but I didn't wanna to go too far. The idea is to have fun. And that's what I'm gonna to do today along with over 200 of my friends on Facebook. We're all gonna to get together and build models for 24 hours, share our experiences. It's noon and we're off. Okay, I'm gonna paint the chassis pan because that's kind of the core. We're gonna build up from there. Of course, engine goes in, body parts are on. I'm gonna clean it up first. Flash off. Using compressed air to clean it off before painting. Checking Facebook and the Zoom call. Forgot to clean out my spray booth. Oh well, I wish I had done that. Here we go. Are some sink marks. I'm going to have to use some filler in there, clean that up. I also want to then test the glass, make sure that fits. I've already tried setting the body, which is work, on the chassis platform. It's going to need a little tweaking to get it all to fit. We'll see how that works out. Along with prepping the body and filling the sink marks, I'm testing the glass to make sure it fits. Open those up. Just a little sand and look at that. Press fit holds itself in place. That looks like a good fit. 
I'm gonna open the hole up a little more just to make room for paint. A little paint thickness might make it tighter, so I'm just gonna open that up. Good, I think that's ready to go. Okay, that's the glass. Oh, we have the bulkhead in the back. Happy dance. Mixing two part filler. Fill those divots. Those terrible low spots they gave me. This stuff smells really bad. So I have my fan going in my spray booth. That's that humming you hear in the background. And now for a trick I learned from a prop maker. When you're using epoxy or two part anything to get it moving, put it on, count to 30, let it start, then finish it off with a hair dryer. The idea is not to get it too hot, not to move it too fast, just enough to get that chemical reaction going that it hardens. It's like, you know, could I wait five to seven minutes for it to go naturally, or, well, today I'm in a hurry. Two and a half hours in, the body's painted and in the dehydrator. We can now get on to the smaller stuff, like assembling the engine. I tried something and I think it worked out really well. The seats. I sprayed them first with matte black, then I dusted them with some dark blue, and I overcoated that with a little bit of matte finish, all to my paint. I think it's a really nice look. It's a black, but it's a very blue black. I think it represents the factory seats very well. So I have the map. There are all these parts for the engine and there's no order as to how they all go together. So, well, you know, like the instructions say, just wing it, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start cutting parts and we'll be ready to go. From clutch housing, your ring gear housing. And it's here somewhere. I think that fell off the box. Ah! Found it. Ring gear housing. Okay, one, two, three, they all line up and glue together. Then the left crankcase and the right crankcase and the clutch housing. Test fit. Just goes together, but just going to sand a little bit. Fits nice and square. Nice tooling on this kit. I'm part way through assembling the engine and I've come to the point where it's time to put on the valve covers. Earlier, I had taken the chrome off the valve covers because they really needed to be a deeper metal color, not chrome. I used some metal polishing powder from Yushi that my friend Jeff Elliott turned me on to. It's after five, I went step number four, gluing the engine in. Beautiful. You know, and these parts fit so well. While waiting for parts to dry, I painted the fog lights. I used some clear yellow to give them a nice tint. I'll let that dry. I may put a lens over it, or I may put some clear epoxy over it. We'll see when we get there. Next step, I'm gonna put the frame rails together. I'm gonna put the engine and chassis to the side and pick up the frame rails, start to assemble the frame.
It's 9.30, I'm this far along. I'm really impressed. This kit goes together so well. It's early morning, I just got up, had some coffee, now I'm going in the windshield and trying to wake up at the same time. It's going well, I'm sure I'll be done by noon. This is it, it's time to glue the body on. Test fit, snaps in, seems good. It's just a little bit of a cantilever there where the body goes out and the underpan sits in slightly. Makes a nice shadow line. Just have to make sure that lines up. Has a pin on each side to register it. Let's see if they work. I'm going to glue one side at a time. Perfect. And now we wait. And be blown. I'm using Fensa Extra Thin, helping it evaporate.
pass out soon. And at this point, I'm gonna let that sit. The middle block I'm gonna put there as a little. Good, on to something else. Time for the hair dryer trick. Minutes to go. 30 minutes to go. I saved the last 30 minutes because I want to make domed screens to go on the four injector stacks. I'm going to use a hole punch, some photo etch. And I'm going to use these guys. I'm going to use this dapping tool to create the domes. Let's see if it works. If not, they're already painted black. work. It's the perfect size. It has to be, of course, a little bigger because when you make the dome, it's going to shrink it down around the sides. It sticks up. It's a great look. I just have to make four more. We have 27 minutes. Here we go. Let's get the test piece off. I only need four, but I cut two extras. Okay, here's something I forgot to prep. I think Roosevelt was in office when that was last cleaned. My grandfather's hobby was silversmithing. That's where I got this. I got this from him. I think it has rouge or something crammed down in there. Oh look, it's even deeper now. Excellent. Okay, now we're ready. Looks good. I like the dome shape because that catches a nice highlight, a very condensed highlight. It's a little bright spot that sits up on top of the engine. So now we need our choice of adhesive. Don't know what I'm gonna use here. It's glossy, but I'm just gonna use some Tamiya Clear. It's gonna go on with a toothpick. That's why we have extras. We'll get that one another day. I like this one. Looks good to me. <laughs> Look at that. Two minutes to spare. Oh, two minutes to go. You know what? I have to do the uh, windshield wiper. The wiper's on and we're done. The car is done within the 24 hours and I managed to get some sleep. My approach to this event was to be prepared and organized, to relieve the stress of the deadline. But above all, I was here to have fun and build like a 12 year old. As adults, the process of building is the pleasure. As a kid, there was an immediacy to the focus. The eyes were on the finished model. So it was fun finding quick solutions to problems as they surfaced, to delight in the things that worked perfectly and to just keep moving forward. My build strategy was to start by applying paint 
getting several assemblies going at once and while the paint or glue dried on a different assembly, I'd be working on another. It helps to have someone else in the house to help you look for parts that have suddenly gone missing. One of the surprises during this build was this kit has very intricate suspension. Just the sheer number of parts took a lot of time to assemble. I also decided mid-build to try metal powders and took a risk by trying something I hadn't planned on. It turned out incredibly well. It was a nice kit. 80% of the parts fit really well. As nice as the kit was, there were some parts that didn't fit well, like the slightly twisted body and the out of scale hood hinges. Overall, I was very happy with the way it turned out. But the best part of this 24 hour build was doing it at the same time as other builders. Seeing friends post their progress on Facebook, talking to old friends and meeting new ones on the Zoom call. It was great to be going through this experience with everyone else. I'm looking forward to doing it again next year.